a presentation of Showtime Sports. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Chumash Casino Resort in Santa Inez, California, this is Showbox, the new generation. And nobody gonna give you nothing for nothing. You gotta work for what you get. You gotta get them shots off. Left hook, right hand, both hands up, both hands up. Let's go. Go out there, focus on the job that has to be done. This is what it takes to be champ. This is what it takes right here, baby. Opportunity only not you want. Let's go. Tonight on Showbox, the new generation. Back to a familiar spot on the Showbox map. We're at the Chumash Casino Resort in beautiful Santa Inez, California, here once again for a boxing doubleheader on Showtime. Hi, everybody. I'm Nick Charles. Here on a night, we'll get a second look at Freddy Hernandez. The Mexican welterweight's not your typical show box fighter. He's a nine-year pro with some quality wins and just a single loss five years ago. He's also had long stretches of inactivity. And at age 30, it's time to move. Tonight, Hernandez faces late replacement Demarcus Chop Chop Corley, a 35-year-old former world champion who has a potential to play spoiler tonight. Let's bring in my broadcast partner and pal Steve Farhood to talk more about this main event. Steve, what can Hernandez accomplish by beating Corley tonight? Nick, sometimes the way you can become a contender is by beating a former world champion. Chop Chop Corley still has no match. Freddie Hernandez is the fighter moving up. And Freddie Turn it up. Grab the Nick, sometimes beating a former world champion is a way you can become a contender. There's a lot of name value still in Chop Chop Corley. But let's not forget, Freddie Hernandez is the bigger fighter. He's the fighter supposedly going somewhere. So I don't think a mundane win over Chop Chop Corley gains anything for him. I think he needs to be impressive tonight, if not spectacular. Freddie Hernandez is making his second run at the welterweight top 10. It was almost six years ago that he scored his biggest win over Jesus Soto Carras. But then Hernandez floundered, suffering his only loss and fighting far less often than would have benefited him. Tonight, Hernandez is taking on a dangerous late sub and lefty chop chop poorly. Hernandez is 30, and at this point, he can't carefully pick and choose opponents the way a young prospect might. His time is now. Chop Chop Corley's feeding eight kids, so he doesn't turn down short notice fights on the road. But before you dismiss Corley as a 35-year-old former world titleist who's hanging on, consider that in reviewing 2009, the Ring Magazine selected those six worst decisions of the year, and Chop Chop got jobbed in two of them. Corley's always in shape, and he's always been at least competitive with the very best fighters in the world. Tonight, he's a very live underdog to upset Freddie Hernandez. And now we say hello to our third member of our broadcast team, former world champion, Antonio Tarver. Antonio, on the surface, Corley looks like a safe, hand-picked name opponent for Hernandez. But we've seen his last few bouts, and based on those, this is no shot fighter. No, he's not a shot fighter. And you're right, Nick, on the surface, it does seem that Chop Chop Corley is declining a little bit. He's 5-3 and three in his last eight fights. but. As I and some ringside observers feel that he should have clearly won two of those fights. So in actuality, with those decisions, he could be coming in on a seven-fight win streak, and he wouldn't be here tonight. But Chop Chop Coley is determined to get back in the top echelon of the welterweight division, and that starts tonight. So it doesn't want to be just a name opponent. He really wants another crack at a title. And for a guy who's never stayed, uh, been out of shape, a big order, but maybe Hernandez bites off more than he can chew. That's our main event coming up later in the hour. Hernandez against Corley, the 10-rounder. Meanwhile, we'll open with a junior welterweight bout. Unbeaten, untested, Francisco Contreras faces the all-out pressure of Juan Castaneda. And a look at Francisco Contreras. Started boxing at six in his native Dominican Republic. Had a solid amateur career, turned pro in late 2007, and came to America to further his opportunities last year. 
He's 25, has built an impressive record against limited opposition. Tonight, he steps up his level of comp, though, and faces an aggressive brawler. Contreras said being a boxer puncher, he prefers a guy who comes right at him. He should get his wish tonight. Francisco Contreras, 12-0, 11 KOs. Take us behind the numbers, Steve. I will, Nick, now that I have the right microphone. <laughs> Careful start. Contreras has serious amateur credentials, but his pro opposition has been poor. The combined record of his victims, 102 wins, 155 losses, and 13 draws. Wanted rounds, the inevitable result of a lot of quickie KOs, Contreras has fought only 30 rounds, and he's never been past six. And last time out, every unbeaten prospect picks on Martez Logan, who lost to Contreras in December. Logan actually won against an unbeaten fighter on Showbox in 2005. Since, he's gone 4 and 22. Well, at 26, Juan Castaneda is just a year older than his opponent, but has been much more severely tested. Four-time Mexican national amateur champ, four-year pro, who's fought mostly at 130 and 35. He fought now interim world champion Antonio DeMarco on Showbox in 08 and was overwhelmed by his bigger, stronger opponent. Tonight, he moves up in weight again. He usually looks to tear your head off with every punch, so look for him to keep the heat on. Juan Castaneda, 16-2-1, a dozen knockouts. What's behind the numbers, Steve? Well, before and after, Nick, Castaneda was undefeated when he faced DeMarco on Showbox. He's gone 4-1-1 one, and one since against very average opposition. Style and size. Castaneda is a willing brawler, but he's naturally smaller than Contreras, and he's been stopped in both his losses. That's a bad combination of factors. And rounds and rounds. Once you go 10, you know you can go 10. Castaneda went 10 for the first time in his most recent start. That gives him an advantage over Contreras. It's Showbox from San Inez, California, where undefeated Francisco Contreras battles young veteran Juan Castaneda in our opening junior welterweight bout schedule for eight. Now to ring announcer Mark Lichtenfeld. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Chumash Casino Resort here in beautiful Santa Inez, California. For Showbox, the new generation. Brought to you by Gary Shaw Productions in association with TKO Boxing and Showtime. Tonight's action is sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. Your executive officer is George Dodd. Introducing to you the three judges scoring from ringside. Max DeLuca, Ralph McKnight, and Marty Salmon. Your referee in charge is Jerry Cantu. All right, Santa Inez, this bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing in the junior welterweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black with red. He weighed in at 137 pounds with a boxing record of 16 wins, two losses, and one draw with 12 wins coming by way of knockout from La Paz, Baja, California, Mexico. Please welcome Juan Castaneda. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red with white, weighing in at 136 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his young career with a record of 12 wins, no losses, 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Originally from La Romana, Dominican Republic, now fighting out of Irvington, New Jersey, he is Francisco Contreras! Two seconds. Two seconds. Everybody out of the ring, let's go. Let's go. Two seconds. Caballeros. Estás recibiendo sus instrucciones en el camarino. Lo que le guantes, buena suerte. Castaneda initially weighed about a half pound over, no big deal. Contreras looks a lot bigger to us, and he, that's because he's fought mostly at junior welterweight. Castaneda's fought mostly at junior lightweight. And the rules here are the unified rules, no three knockdown, no standing eight. You can't be saved by the bell in any of the rounds, and only the referee can stop the fight. Ready to go here in San Inez. Nick Charles, Antonio Tarver, and Steve Farhood ringside. Happy you could be with us. Contreras smokes the jab right off the bat, and as expected, Castaneda is coming forward. He's a wide puncher. You go up the middle on him, perhaps, with a guy like that. And let's see. He's very anxious. As we said, he wants to rip your head off. Little. 
And you take a look at the pro experience, neither guy that experienced, but Contreras, the number that sticks out, only 30 rounds of professional work in the ring. And as far as amateurs, <laughs> Contreras, a lot of amateur fights, 358 compared to 101 for Castaneda. But both fighters, pretty good amateur fighters. Already, I love Contreras' jab. Real conviction on it. Single shots from the guy in red so far. Castaneda respects it already. He's trying to hold his distance and feint his way inside. He's in the black. He's